Milwaukee on pace to break homicide records yet again this year. Tim Michaels, the Republican nominee for governor, meeting with a mother today whose daughter was killed by gun violence. TMJ4 chief political reporter Charles Benson joins us now with a look at Governor Tony Evers and Michaels' plans for crime prevention. Charles. Well, we were invited to sit in on a few minutes during Michaels' meeting with families impacted by Milwaukee's rising gun violence. Michaels pledged to work with Milwaukee leaders, including Democrats, to address the violence. Inside the GOP campaign office on North Martin Luther King Drive, Tim Michaels and Republican nominee for Attorney General Eric Toney listened to concerns about crime in Milwaukee. Michael Crane was beaten up after getting off a bus and Tony Ivy Covington lost her 17-year-old daughter in April to gun violence and now cares for her grandson, Kiwan. Don't come telling me nothing about no curfew when my baby got killed in broad daylight. Michael says he hears their frustration. It's not going to happen overnight. Will it require investing more in police officers, in DAs, and in the community? It will require investing more, but it's not just about money. It's about leadership. I will work with anybody. In June, Governor Tony Evers walked a north side neighborhood with Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson and talked with families worried about crime. The Evers administration points to $100 million invested in crime prevention efforts and support for crime victims, including $2.2 million for the Milwaukee Police Department. Michael's plan includes hiring more police in high crime areas and new mandatory minimums for felons with guns. How will people know that this isn't just campaign rhetoric? How can they trust that Tim Michaels really will do what he says? Yeah, you know, Tony, can I have key one for a second? This is how you know. This is not some statistic. This is the future of Milwaukee right here. And there's thousands of baby boys like this and baby girls that are being failed right now. I get really fired up about this. I pledge to Kiwan and the thousands of other young boys and girls like this out there. Hope is on the way. Now, a campaign spokesperson says Governor Evers has made addressing the root cause of violence a top priority. They also point to Evers' plan calling for universal background checks on guns and red flag laws. All right, Charles, thank you. TMJ4, once again, will bring you debates between the candidates in the top statewide races. The U.S. Senate debate is scheduled for Thursday, October 13th at 6 p.m. The gubernatorial debate between Tim Michaels and Tony Evers is one week later on Thursday, October 20th, also at 6 p.m. Charles Benson and I will moderate those debates.